good deal. Um, awesome. Well, one of the things uh, and that even through our uh, mentee-mentor relationship that you always talk about, and I love, I would love for you to dive more into it, is, is about, uh, the, in my opinion, the three things that have made you extremely successful, which is passion, grit, and you always talked about differentiation, right? Um, but passion and you said grit, that really well. That time. <laughs> I'm still working on it. I still have to learn. Uh, but you know, I think people have a misconception of what passion is. But I, and also, I, I don't necessarily know if grit can be trained, or should I say, you either have it or you don't. But I would like for you to you know expound on that because I know those are three characteristics that if I talk to anybody and ask them, hey, who is Gary Rayvine? passion grit and he knows how to be different you know so yeah you know so so for me if you're not passionate about what you're doing in your life you know it, life is just way too short right he, it, it's it's if you're passionate about what you do you'll never work another day in your life I mean that's something I sincerely believe I don't I don't I work I work a lot of hours but I don't work I mean I'm, I'm, I'm having fun every day I love what I do I love the people I love, I love our customers our employees uh, our, 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 our vendors. I mean, I'm telling you, I have a lot of fun because I deal with people that I, I love, that I love and I love dealing with. So passion, if you're passionate about what you do, you never work another day. I, I, I mean, and if you're passionate about things that nobody else is, that's kind of cool. That's an advantage. So, so gosh, anybody can be, be, be passionate about, uh, you know, the medical industry and saving lives and all the cool things you can do there. Anybody can be passionate about, you know, high tech and all the cool things you do in high tech to change the world. But man, not a lot of people are passionate about paving asphalt. And pouring concrete, and if you can be, man, there, there's some great opportunities. So, that, so, so I, I like passion uh, in 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 things that not everybody else is passionate about, um, and I think there's the biggest opportunities are there. So, so then then there's grit. So grit, I, I've been blessed with with growing up with with a with a a father that that you know displayed grit right and and taught us grit. And, and I grew up in, 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 in uh, you know, doing tough jobs. And then I've had some dirty, dirty jobs in my life. I mean, I, uh, I can tell you some fun stories about some dirty, dirty jobs. But, uh, you know, an example is my dad did sewer hookups. My dad did sewer hookups in, because in the area of Fox Lake, they, 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 the chain of lakes, all, all the sewers went out into the lake. Pretty, or I shouldn't say it. They're septic fields that leached out into the lakes. So a very, very uh, um, septic infested waters that we swam in and bathed in and all that. Right. And we, and that's a whole nother story. We bathed in this water too. <laughs> but bottom, bottom line is, you know, we didn't realize it. it. It was just, you know, it just was what it was. Yeah. But my dad took on this role of putting sewers in and, and he had me in the, in the trench, right. While he, while, while I'm, I'm, I'm he, he taught me how to put pipe together and glue it together and, 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 you know, set the couplings and glue the couplings on it. And, and I'd be in these, in the, in this, in, in sewage up to, you know, a foot, two foot, and flies would be biting wherever the wherever that sewage level was. Flies, big flies would be biting at you, and you'd be like slapping flies, right? And 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 uh, and and, and you you would have these rubber boots, but usually they didn't work out too well, and the, and the stuff went over the rubber boots oh, in your shoes. Oh, that's and, nasty. And, and, but the, but the, that's nothing. The nasty <laughs> part was when the banks when the, when the banks of the trench would cave in. And and you'd have you know two foot of sewage right, and you'd be down trying to set a set a piece of pipe right in a coupling, and and the and the the wall of the bank would collapse, and you would get saturated with the sewage in your mouth in your eyes right, and and my dad would be so up, graphic. My dad my dad would be up in the back going saying, he, 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 quit your whining, just quit your whining and get that pipe, that pipe set. And uh, you know, I, I it, it, there was no time to whine and all that, but but that was that's a dirty job, right? And people yeah. do this every, stuff every day. Um, so so either way, we did a lot of dirty jobs, and that that was one to remember. But but uh, and I, I believe this dirty work create, creates some grit that you might not have otherwise. So if you don't have grit and you didn't get grit through your, your upbringing, my I, I've got friends of mine who are tough as nails that that grew up in a in a in a pretty nice. Uh, upbringing with some money and all that but you know what they they they, they were taught work ethic and they, and they and today they're they're triathlon triathletes right they're establishing their own grid and so they're tough they don't have, they didn't have to be born born in a in a, in a uh, rougher family they're just tough and they got grit and the last thing differentiation I, i'll say it all day long differentiate or die man if you if you don't differentiate in your in your business you're commoditized so everything we do we'll do that we'll differentiate so those are the three things i believe in